Hi friends, John Laspina talking about omega-3s today. I'm the carnivore teacher and there's a lot of confusion about fats. We talk about seed oils, plant fats versus animal fats. So I would like to break down omega-3 fats for you in this video. Omega-3 fatty acids, the main difference between omega-3 fats in animals and plants is the type of omega-3 that they contain. Plants contain ALA, which is alpha linolenic acid. It's not essential. We don't need that. But people like vegans who eat only plants, they are getting their omega-3s in this form and hoping that their body will convert ALA into the necessary DHA and EPA that we humans need. ALA is found in plant oils like flaxseed, canola, soybean, and foods like kale, spinach, walnuts, chia seeds, and a few other seeds. Alpha linolenic acid, that's an omega-3 that you get from plants. Humans can only convert that into the necessary EPA and DHA, but some humans can't do it or do it well, so we're not getting enough omega-3s if we're only eating plants. In the animal kingdom, the EPA is called icosapentaenoic acid. There's also DHA, which is called docosahexaenoic acid. These are found in fish and other seafood. These are often called marine omega-3s. There's also omega-3 in eggs, a small amount of omega-3 in meat. The body tries to convert alpha-linolenic acid, ALA, into docosahexaenoic acid and icosapentaenoic acid, DHA and EPA, but only to a small extent. Some studies have found that people on plant-based diets can convert shorter chain fatty acids into longer chain omega-3s, but to what extent we don't know and how efficient is this. Omega-3s are an important part of our brain and our eye development, our heart health, and normal cell growth and function. The type of omega-3 added to a diet matters. In summary, we need omega-3 fatty acids. The best form of omega-3 comes from animal products, the EPA and DHA, and the highest form of EPA and DHA is found in certain seafoods very, very healthy. I'm going to post right here this pie chart list so that you can examine it. The dark color shows amount of omega-3 in the following foods. And the lighter color shows the, the omega-6 in these animal foods. And you'll notice that the bottom of the chart is where the seafood is, and that's where the abundance of DHA and EPA, the omega-3s, are found. Although you can get omega-3s in some of the foods that you see higher up on the list in the middle and the beginning. It's important to note that we want to have as close to a 1 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3, balance in our body as possible, sometimes a 2 to 1 or a 3 to 1. Unfortunately, if we're eating the standard world diet, you're getting 30 to 1. It's, it's really high in omega-6, is unhealthy. So this is why I talk about omega-3 fatty acids a lot. And I'm probably not getting enough of omega-3, so I'm going to up my sardines, my anchovies, my cod liver in cod liver oil, my wild sockeye salmon, because I want to up my omega-3s. I want to lower my omega-6s, so I'm going to start laying off of pork and poultry because it's very high in omega-6 and almost zero omega-3s. So we're talking about creating inflammation or knocking down inflammation in the body by having the correct balance of omega-6 to omega-3. And so these omega-3s are so healthy and the best form is animal products. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you learned something from this video about omega-3s. If you did, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, have an excellent day. Like and subscribe to this channel, please.